Many of you don't know these struggles. Um, snow brush is most definitely in the back seat of my Jetta and I do not have the key for it. So I also don't want to go back inside and get the key for it. So we're going to sit here until the windshield defrosts. Thought. Oh. Hi idle. Yeah, the window's legitimately frozen shut. Uh, some of you guys are sitting here right now, you're like, what? Yeah, this is this is uh, northern uh, winter props. Another great thing, ice just sticks to the front parking sensor, so those will be humming the entire way. Turn those off. What? Where am I at? What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're stopping for the first time, feel free to get down there and click subscribe. Right now I'm sitting in a brand new 2019 Silverado. Um, I mean, Chevy's normally just, they don't do much for me. The inside's kind of all the same old, same old, uh, you know, small screen, small screen, dash, whatever. That's why I like, uh, that's why I like my Rams and the options that are available with it. Um, just put a six inch lift on this guy. And I'm gonna tell you, you guys watched my video a long time ago with the red Silverado and now, you compare it to this one I'm about to show you, this thing looks pretty awesome to be honest. So uh, I'm gonna get outside, walk around this truck, and I'm gonna show you uh, how awesome this looks. I mean, it's dark out, but you know, lifted obviously only from this angle. Um, this angle looks awesome. But from this angle, you can see that six inch lift, you've got a lot of space in the wheel well, and I mean a lot, look at all that. Uh, no rub on these 20 by nines. Zero offset I will, but we need a quarter inch spacer to clear the caliper on these. The um, 20 inch wheel rubs that caliper pretty good. So you need a quarter inch spacer on there, kick it out so it doesn't hit the caliper. It's also very close to the tie rod. So on these new Chevys and Rams, you really gotta watch your new offsets, but there's a lot of wheel gap. Not as hateful in the rear. It looks pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. This looks sweet. Not saying I'm a Chevy guy, but I would probably drive this obviously with 22s or something. These 20s just look small on these on uh, these new trucks, as you can tell. Look at that. That thing looks small. It needs like twos on it. I mean, these new headlights are sharp. Uh, lifted, I can tell you that this truck looks a whole lot more aggressive. That's for sure. I think it's a basic LTZ. I forget package, but. Uh, that's that basic screen. Comes with factory leather. I know it's getting dark out here, but that's Ohio nowadays in the winter. Privacy glass in the rear, that's why it's so dark. You can't even see. Uh, dome lights don't even come on. Look at that. See if I can turn this on. There you go. A little light. Factory leather. Oh yeah, these are this is a cool feature. It's kind of cool, but kind of useless, I think. These seats open up like this. And you have storage in here. Kind of weird. Kind of interesting mirrors in the door kind of funky i think it looks sharp this is honestly a good good looking truck especially when lifted the white colored headlights awesome awesome as well another thing to mention these new chevys the top start buttons all the way down here uh no key i mean you get your fob this thing has uh auto start stop don't like that parking sensors obviously uh, nice. It's got heated seats and your heated wheel button is actually up here, so that's nice. Though they're coming with heated wheels nowadays. A lot of junk going on over here. All your uh, four-wheel drive selection, and then you've got your, uh, you know, your trailer backup assist, headlights, electric parking brake, and all that. Uh, like I said, it's getting dark out here. I apologize for that, but this is your normal OnStar stuff. Uh, LED lights. Slider rear, doesn't do much for me, but it is a sharp looking truck. I mean, here's a quick comparison. Here is it next to a stock uh, GMC. Obviously, it's pretty much the same truck, but man, that six inch lift and the 35s really brings it up. Heck yeah. 
That's awesome. Yeah. The, look at that. That's even better representation. That makes the truck huge. I'd like to see some offset on these uh, <clears throat> on these Silverados, though. I mean, you can't fit much. These 20 by 9s went backing up already. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, it's not been aligned yet. <clears throat> But it hits that uh, mud flap, so you're gonna need some trimming if you go any wider or bigger. So, not the most ideal wheel well, but this thing with some uh, stance would look pretty mean, I could tell you that. Today, we are back inside, obviously, uh, letting all the snow melt for you in warm climates. You guys suck. Uh, it's cold, snowy, and uh, I mean, it's just been drying off for a little bit here, but I can say this snow is still gonna melt. However, we are going to be doing the sun visor today on this truck. As you know, I went through 50% uh, tint on my windshield. As you can see, it looks pretty good from the side. I mean, you get a good, good uh, glare off that. But we're going to put a sun visor on top of it and um, get that all squared away so the tint on the windshield is done. When doing sun visors, uh, you need a straight edge, obviously, on the bottom. The top, not so much because you're going to be cutting around where the dot matrix and stuff is. So scrap tint is honestly your best friend here. If you're, you're tinting and you got leftover tint and you've got a long straight edge that'll cover your whole windshield, that's what you want here. You don't want to be using full sheets and cutting into them. I, mean, I guess you're doing it either way if you're using the scrap end of it or not. But you need, you need a straight edge to get your bottom as crisp and clean as possible. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Obviously 5% visor over 50%, so it's going to give you like a 2.5% uh, tint on the uh, top of the windshield here. So that's what we're going to get into, getting this, uh, get this all squared away and done. Once I get my bigger lift, that is going to be a huge drop. I also need running boards like stat because jumping up in this thing is getting getting tiring. Okay, so what I did here was took a scrap piece, a 5% tint, and I threw it up on the windshield, it went all the way across, and I lined it up with the bottom of my mirror, which is exactly what I wanted this entire time. Obviously, the AS1 line is like the legal limit for like visor tint. <laughs> but it was way too high and it bothered me. It did not go to the bottom of my mirror. So this is what we're dealing with. So for all you people who watch my videos and are tenors and are like, you use a, you use a machine, there's no skill in that. Uh, I just hand cut this visor. So sometimes the, the computer software works, sometimes you need to hand cut just like this visor. But this is what we're dealing with. Here we go. Visor, so we're sitting and any sun rays that would be in my way will be blocked and you could see the road just fine. Uh, comes up here obviously uh, when I put it in it'll be a little bit tighter but you can see it hits the bottom of this black in the mirror uh, not to the bottom of the dot matrix but the bottom of the black in the mirror which is what I wanted you cannot razor blade this especially because I have tint on my windshield so I'm not gonna razor blade this I'm just gonna clean it extremely well with a squeegee soap uh, towel get it clean um, and then we're gonna honestly spray it down and just tack it and uh, that's it for the visors hopefully you guys balance there but Ooh, did not want to spray that. It's weird. I found that you know, with layers of tint on your window already, less dirt wants to stick to it, but raw glass dirt likes to live on there for some reason. And we're gonna give it a rub down with this real quick. Make sure there's no fingerprints, no streaks, no nothing locked in there. We're just gonna hit it one more time. Squeegee her down. And then you'll be able to get the tint from the outside and bring it on in. Okay, so with a free moving piece of tint, just like quarter windows, uh, as you can see, we got lined up with the bottom of the mirror there. Um, you're gonna wanna let it sit for a minute because if I start to squeegee this, it might shift. So you're just gonna let it sit, kind of dry out for a second. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna go and get the other side prepped uh, and then I'll be able to squeegee them both. If you get too anxious with it, you'll start moving it around too much. So you don't wanna do that. This side's ready to slap in.
you know, somebody in the last video said, put a towel on your dash. The windshield was so big, I honestly couldn't. Uh, the towel got in the way of the tent going in, so I couldn't. But uh, this time I probably could, but I'll just wipe up whatever water's landed. All right, guys, so another layer of tint is added. 5% over 50, five on the sides. There it is, more tint done. And some of you are gonna be like, why are you doing more tint? Why do you go so dark on your windows? The look, the, uh, you know, how it's painted black, that looks awesome. 35 or 20% also looks awesome. Smoke look, it, it completely changes the look whether you have a, a painted black window or you have a smoked gloss black window. Um, I personally like the high contrast of the um, 5%. I also carry expensive things sometimes and it's just better off that nobody sees it. And on top of that, it makes the truck look sharp. guys and we are rolling out with our uh, new tin here it looks a lot worse than it actually is on camera uh, this is honestly perfect I wouldn't ask for anything different it's hard to tell but on camera this uh, <laughs> this looks a lot worse on uh, camera than it does in person in person this is perfect I can't wait to like a nice sunny day but this is perfect 50 on the windshield 5% over 50 for the sun bar this is spectacular wow all right guys we made it home um, yep quick tint job I I love it I love the results learning a skill doing something yourself awesome awesome I got a comment the other day uh, if you're watching, shouts out to you. He said he used to watch all these other channels, but the thing he likes about mine, I do all the work myself. You know, that's rewarding because I said I, you know, I sit there, go learn new tasks, learn new stuff, get out there, be bold, do new things, and like just like that, you know, tin. Uh, done this whole truck myself, done my jet myself, and it's it just like learning skills in the process and getting things done. It's just, in my opinion, a whole lot of IMOs here, but um. In my opinion, it's just so much more rewarding than just taking it somewhere and getting it back. And that's, you know, that's it. There it is. You know, it's done. So, um, you know, putting your, your hard work into it, just, in my opinion, just makes it just, you know, the icing on the cake. Proud if and happy with how this sun visor turned out, whatever you call it, wherever you go. This is about eye level here. Uh, literally, it's right in front of my eyes. So this is what I see. I see the whole road, no problem. And when you look up, obviously the sun will not be shining in your eyes. Thank you guys for watching. Take care. I will see you in the next video. A uh, big, big, big announcement coming very soon. And uh, you guys are definitely going to love that one. So that will be awesome. And with that announcement, I'm going to need some of your guys' input. Thank you for watching. Take care. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank you for the support.